guys, welcome to All Eyes on ZTD. Stay tuned if you want to know more about my 2019 and how that went and how I did this look. Today I am finally shooting my first YouTube video. I'm so excited. Um, I did a poll on Instagram like two days ago what my first video should be about and how my 2019 went was the winner. So I'm just going to be doing my makeup, getting ready, and then letting you know how my 2019 went. Okay, so let's just dive right into it. Um, so a lot of y'all know in 2018, December 2018, um, I moved to Austin with my ex and because we did a vlog um, video too. So that was our last video actually, us moving to Austin. And after that, I kind of just went MIA on a lot of things um, because 22 days into 2019's new year, um, I got broken up with. So yeah, um, we just signed a 13 month lease in December and January got broken up with. So the start of my 2019 was really, really bumpy but all of my 2019 honestly was really bumpy so I um I got a new job though in 2019 so the day I actually got broken up with was actually the first day of my new job and that was wow um that was just a lot to take in so that is that and then June 2019, so after all of this crazy shit, um, I was in Austin, like, literally with nothing. I didn't know anybody. Um, my cousin, he lives down here, so, I mean, that brought us closer. But other than that, like, I didn't know anybody. I didn't have a car. I didn't... I would Uber and Lyft everywhere, and then... Or walk. <laughs> like, one of the three. And, um... So, finally, June... 14th. I'm good at dates. I'm gonna try to keep this up. I'm not really good at dates. So But June 14th um, I finally got a new car um, It's a Hyundai Veluster. I love it um, It's so me actually um, Yeah, so that was good news in June and then after that like I'm not gonna go into detail of living with an ex. That can, if y'all want a video of that, ask me and I guess I can make one, but I'm not going into detail about that right now. Um, that is a whole different ball game. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so I literally was like in a bad spot. Um, I was so depressed, I was so lost I was anything that you can think of like negative wise like that was what I was in like I mean I just got out of a three-year relationship and then still living with that person on top of that like that's a whole different ball game like I was fucking miserable so I don't know a lot of there's like literally I can count on one hand how many people really know like what I really actually went through and the struggles I had with it. So, um, yeah, but I finally like picked myself back up. This is an actual good story. Um, I think it was in November or something like that. Um, both of my cousins came over to my house and, um, I like boohooed to them, I cried, whatever, whatever. I just felt like I was stuck. Like I was stuck in a lease. I was stuck in um, this apartment with my ex. I was literally all these things that, I'm like this cannot be real life happening to me right now. Like nobody, and I was like damn, like moving to Austin was supposed to be new beginnings, like great new beginnings, not bad new beginnings, and it was just, at this point, I felt like it was just horrible, and I didn't know 
what to do. So like I was like talking to them about it basically. And then I was like, I'm just stuck. And then my cousin, she was all like, no, you're not like, you need to find out what you're going to do. Like, you know, she gave me some insights on like what she did, like what she went through and you know, there was similarities. So she told me what she did and stuff like that. And then, so finally, literally, I kid you not, that same couple of days after that, I was finally on an employee lease, like, at my job since, um, you know, I, so I basically wasn't stuck in, like, a 13-month lease contract anymore. I just had to give a 30-day notice to move out. So, um, finally, I did that. I got my ex to sign this 30 day notice because we both have to sign it and um finally like come october i got my new place so it's just me and king in this one bedroom apartment and which don't get me wrong like <laughs> so many times i'm just like damn like i feel like i was backtracking because um I just moved down to Austin, you know, with who I thought was the love of my life. And I have this two bedroom, badass townhome that I absolutely loved. Like I was, you know, like I was like vlogging was going good for us at that time. And everything in my mind was going great. Um, but I guess, you know, yeah, so I thought everything was going good and then I moved in here and I was all like ew like I'm literally backtracking like I might as well move back home like I literally said that to myself and then but then I had to really come to reality and it's like I'm not backtracking I'm starting my own new beginnings and um I have to make what's best of it a lot of people ask me how do I do it down here with no um family or anything and honestly uh wow it is it is tough and i do again have a cousin that lives down here and he helps me out tremendously like i can't tell y'all how much i cry to him and he listens so that's great <laughs> it's great to have at least um one family member it's funny too because which i'm sure y'all are gonna meet him one day anyway so but it's funny um because like when we were kids like me and him are like the fireworks of our family like we don't take no shit like we don't like you know like we just snap back really quick so like when we were younger we always like got into it and now like we both live in austin we're both like close as fuck like anyway i love him so yeah um I don't know what look I'm gonna do but I don't know I really honestly just pile eyeshadow until I'd be like oh, okay this is what we're gonna do um but yeah so thankful for him for being down here and like actually being with me he's older than me too so he's been through some shit that he can help me relate to um so yeah I'm excited that I actually did stay in Austin and I didn't leave or let one person, um, one person's actions like take away from what I really wanted to do and what I really came to Austin to do. Like I wasn't going to let that ruin me and don't get me wrong, that is way easier said than done. Because there was a lot of nights. I don't think anybody really understands. Like there's still times where. I will sit here and break the fuck down. I'm not kidding. Last night I was sitting on my couch. And. Watching a show. I was watching the new L word. Generation Q. And. Um, I literally. Randomly. And I don't know what happened. What triggered it. Like I just started bawling my eyes out and I was like what the fuck get it together you know you just have to like ball your eyes out and then you know pick yourself fucking back up and you say bitch you get up I'm looking in the mirror and I'm telling myself get up because I need to remind myself a lot 
a lot, a lot, a lot, because it's not easy. But yeah, so now I'm in my new apartment and it's just me and King, um, which I absolutely love. I didn't realize, <clears throat> that's another thing, 2019 has taught me a lot about myself that I didn't even know that I like liked or that I didn't know that, I don't know, I just learned a lot about myself. I learned about self-care and self-love like a thousand percent i know a lot of people say that but like did you really like i did i don't have any lashes that just made me really really sad actually so regular natural lashes it is today but um but yeah so if you are if you make yourself to be this depressed individual and you know, you take other people's lives and compare it to yours, it's never gonna get you anywhere. And that's what you're making yourself to be. Like you're making yourself this depressed individual that doesn't really wanna move forward. The days that I'm depressed and shit, like I do not want to move forward with anything. I just feel like everything is just crashing down and I feel like I'm in this like closed space that nobody gets me, nobody understands. and. It's, it's a tough thing to deal with. It really, really is. It's so tough. But you pick yourself up and you get through it. Um, King is definitely my support system. If I did not have that dog, I do not know. I don't know. <laughs> if I did not have him, I do not know. So he really is and he helps with um, my depression and anxiety whenever I do have anxiety I do I get depressed way more than I get anxiety but whenever I do have anxiety it's it's bad I'm not kidding like I even get and you know this if you know me like if I go to a restaurant and I'm like looking at a menu I get anxiety like I'm just like like why what's oh my god talking about it kind of just like made my breathing start <laughs> that's a problem but I'm working on that there's a lot of things that give me anxiety, but I'm just like, I'm not letting this shit get to me right now, you know? But honestly, for me with depression, that is a whole different ball game because I, it's, I don't have a choice. Um, with anxiety, I can, depending on the situation, I can um, control it more than depression, but no, when I have depression, I I cannot control anything around me. I just feel like everything is just, everything hates me, like nothing is going my way. And yeah, that's how I feel whenever I have depression. But not so much, um, not so much of anxiety. Anxiety I can control more. So I can say 2019 really did teach me a lot. It really, really did, and I'm happy that I went through everything that I went through because I keep trying to picture my life, how it was <clears throat> before, and I keep trying to picture, like, what it would be like now, you know, and I don't think it would be anything that I would be happy of. So, again, everything happens for a reason, and I'm really happy that that happened at the end of the day I really am happy that that happened um I still get sad about it I still have my moments but then again I look back at 2019 and it has made me this strong independent straight up like badass bitch that's what 2019 has made me and it was a struggle to make me that I've always been that. I've always have tried to be strong. I'm the weaker one of my family though, so whatever. All of my family, they're like, it's a mind thing, you know? Especially like my grandma, my dad, and my brother. They always say, it's a mind thing. It's like, okay, dude, like I'm not even about to. Which it really is, and I'm not saying they're wrong, because, I mean, they're right, it is a mind thing, but, like, at the same time, too, I'm just, like, 
you have to understand like it's not easy controlling what you think is just a mind thing which again it is but it's not easy I never use this color let's use it it's not easy um, really controlling it what you think that you can control it that's not easy it's easier said than done like the mind is one hell of a fucking thing to try to change or to try to think about it like if you sit here and you um you're wanting to like eat better you want to get this better body like blah 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 say you're doing that right it is a mind thing for you to be at a burger shack and get a salad like you have to really like train your mind to think a certain way or to do a certain thing like you know what i mean like you can't you're not automatically just going to be like, oh, no, I'm going to sell it at this burger place. It's not going to happen. Like, it's not. So anybody who sits here and says, like, oh, it's just a mind thing and it's easy. And no, it's not. So stop lying and don't lie to people. Because, again, it's not that 2019 was not a fun year for me at all. So I just pray that 2020 just brings me something more than what 2019 did and don't get me wrong like I said there was a lot of good things that happened to me in 2019 there was a lot of great blessings that I received going through the hurt and pain that I was going through but also at the same time it's just like 2020 I want to bring me fucking to life you know what I mean you know how whenever you get your nails done or fellas like you get a haircut or um you know you do your makeup or something like you feel alive that's how I'm trying to make 2020 make me feel every day you know what I mean and I'm not saying like doing those things it's like day. a lot of you tuning in like if you don't know who I am which I should have definitely said this at the beginning of the video but again you're watching so let me just let you know. If you don't know who I am, I'm Zanik Tamira Dodds. Hmm, that's me. I'm a fucking mess. A little bit about me. Mess. I am a daughter, of course. I'm a sister. Um, I'm a dog mom. I am... What else am I? Oh, I'm a lesbian. So, I am very very open about anything I like to help people I am a supporter I am a lot of things that a lot of people are sometimes afraid to ask me you know but don't ever be afraid to ask me anything because I like to help 24 7 no matter what all the time if I can help then I'm going to that's just who I am I like to model I like to obviously be in a camera all the time another thing that happened in 2019 that's just a little insight on me I can do a getting to know me video next I guess because my Instagram didn't want to a getting to know me video. They wanted a 2019 video, which I hope um, a lot of y'all weren't expecting for me to go more in depth with past things um, that pick that. But again, if y'all do want me to, I will. Um, just let me know. And I can arrange something. <laughs> But other than that, not right now. Living in Austin in 2019 has been a journey. It has been a fun, a stressful, a incredible journey that... Oh shit, wrong brush. <sighs> do y'all ever do that? I do that so much. I don't pay attention to what I'm picking up. Um, but 
but yeah 2019 has been one hell of a fucking year it was i can say one thing it was nothing that i was planning it for it to be that i wanted it to be at the time that it was nothing it was none of that like it was completely me like looking now I wouldn't say it was a shit show but like me um months and months ago or before I even like realized what I was really going through I would say it was a shit show only because like again like it just didn't go my way and that's okay another thing in 2019 that I have done it's gotten a really close close relationship with God um I really have he has helped me with so much unbelievable so much um when I had zero faith when I had zero hope in anything and when I was just down all the time he was the only one there and I that's you know like besides um the people who they know who they are but like physically nobody was there you know nobody and it hurt it really did like I went through some horrible horrible times which again I'm still going through honestly like um it's just a different type of you think you're over something you know and you know one day you'll wake up and you'll be great and then the next day again you'll be like hmm I'm not so great like I thought I was so <sighs> that happens and that is okay but never um, question your like relationship or faith with God seriously because when I tell you I was in no position to <sighs> to one get myself up to two get a new car to three get an apartment I was no absolutely no like I would have never ever and like the time that I was telling y'all that my cousins came over that's what I was telling them I was like that is impossible like it's not gonna happen basically I literally straight up told them and I was like maybe y'all just don't get it but it's not gonna happen and look at me I'm I'm okay <laughs> like I'm doing okay I'm doing Fine, I'm doing now what I love and always wanted to do. Um, I had to t pep talk myself a lot because, again, with the depression, but I'm okay. I'm doing great, you know, and all it's, it's really all because of God. Like, you have to take that walk with him. You really do. And he will help you. If you ask him for help, if you ask him to show you a way, he will do it. And, like with no question asked or you know what I mean and <laughs> another thing I learned is you can't question why things are happening the way they are you know what I mean because again everything happens for a reason and it's happening for a reason so you can't you can't question it you just have to trust trust the process and trust it will be okay because again it will like everything will be a okay and if you ever feel like it's not I really hope that you understand like I am a person who you can always talk to about anything I really hope you guys enjoyed it stay tuned like comment subscribe and share please share and let's get all eyes on ZTD on a roll. <laughs>